you guys, my name is Lena, and today's gonna be a tutorial showing you guys how to do a fly through location transition using Google Earth Pro. And then I kind of show you guys how you can use it in Premiere. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, you're gonna need to download Google Earth Pro, and you can just download it from the internet, it's free. And once you've installed it, you can open up the application and I'm going to go up to view and show you what my settings are. So I have my toolbar, sidebar, atmosphere, water, surface checked. And then you want to have show navigation on automatically in the beginning. And now down by the layers, you want to just have the terrain and the 3D buildings checked. And this is going to create a more realistic look to all the buildings and land and stuff. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys... A uh, fly through from space into one location and then to another location. Okay, so because I want it to start from outer space, I'm gonna zoom out from the earth and keep it so this is the view. And you can go on the right and adjust the navigation so it goes more out or more in and you can adjust the position and stuff so this looks like a pretty nice view. So once you have a view that you want it to be your starting point, you can go up to that yellow pin and then press that button and this is a place mark so you can name this like space and then press ok and it's going to show up down here so i have space in my temporary places right now and i have a different movie i made earlier so we're just going to make three different pinpoints so this is our first pinpoint and then i wanted to zoom into this beach so i'm going to search up makapu'u beach which is a beach in Hawaii so you can search up your location whichever one you want so it's gonna zoom in to the beach that I found you can see that if I uncheck terrain look at how ugly that looks compared to when it's checked so that's why we checked the 3d buildings and terrain earlier but you can go to the side where it has like the navigation stuff you can adjust them so you can get different views and angles and perspectives of the location Okay, so once you get a nice view of it, you want to go to the side and close the search so that it doesn't show that pinpoint. And then you can go up to the pin and then make another place mark. And I'll just name this Makapu'u. And then I'm just going to organize it so it's right under my space. And then we're going to search up for our last one. And I'm going to search for the Golden Gate Bridge and then search it up. And it's going to go and take me to the bridge. And then once again, you can adjust the sidebars to get a perspective that you like. So I like how this looks. So I'm going to close the search on the side again so it doesn't show the label. And then go up to the yellow pin and place a pin mark. And I'm going to name this the Golden Gate Bridge. And we'll press OK. So now on the side, we have our three pin points. And you can make more if you want. But now I'm going to show you guys how to actually create the movie. Okay, so for view, I'm going to go to show navigation and then check never so we don't see the navigation stuff on the side. Okay, now we're going to press that record button by the toolbar and it'll say record a tour and then you can press that record button at the bottom. And so now we're going to keep it at the outer space and then we're going to go to Makapu'u. So it'll zoom into our pinpoint. And then once it goes there, you can move it to Golden Gate Bridge. So right now it's just recording the whole process of where it's moving. And then once you got to your last location, you can press the record button again. And then it has recorded the tour. And then on the right, you can press that save button and then name it whatever you want. And then just press OK. So you guys saved the tour but now you want to make it into a movie so you can just press one of the pinpoints and then you can go up to the top to tools and then movie maker and now you want to make sure you have it on a saved tour and then choose the tour that you just created which was mox to golden gate and then you can press save to and name it what you want and then save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it and you want to make sure you have the quality on the highest one possible because we want the best poly. And then I like to keep the file type at MPEG. And then we're going to press create movie. And then it's going to take a while for this to create the movie. So you can like grab a snack or something. And then once you created the movie, it'll save to your desktop or wherever you saved it. And then you can watch it back and it'll show exactly the tour that you just did. Okay, so we're pretty much done with Google Earth Pro, so let's go to Premiere Pro now. And right here, I have clips from the actual location of Makapu'u Beach, so this is the view overlooking the beach. And then I have the Golden Gate Bridge time-lapse. 
So now you can just bring in that movie you created from Google Earth Pro. And I'll keep it at the first video line and turn the eye off on the second video line with all my clips. So you kind of just want to place your clips where the location is. So like once it zooms into the Makapu'u Beach, I'm going to bring in that clip that I took at that place and put it in. And I'll do the same for the Golden Gate Bridge. And you can see that because we exported it into a really high quality. And if I scale it back to 50, it'll be like the normal size but i'm gonna scale it to like 54 so i don't see that google earth pro symbol on the bottom corner and then i'm just gonna slide the position up so you want to place the clips where they zoom in and then basically once you've done that you can maybe even speed up your movie sequences you created in google earth pro or you can add a transition like the smooth zoom transition you can get super creative with this yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for a lot more videos coming soon and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys